there's an unlimited resource available for us to tap into. And that since energy is life, uh, uh, because without energy life stops, then all of a sudden you realize that the wealth of life is in the available energy that we have to, to, uh, to use uh, for not just our metabolism, but for all of our actions in life. The biggest problem with technology and energy in the human body is that many people believe, oh, if I just put the magnet at the right place or I just hit the right frequency, that's all we need to do. That's a very simplified version. It doesn't really work that way. The best way of understanding how to use the energy is to use it through consciousness. It's sort of like the biology is a machine. It's a very yeah. complex machine, 50 trillion cells, uh, you know, billions and billions and billions of different proteins carrying out functions every second. And, and if you put your hand into this body, it, it'd be like throwing a monkey wrench in, into a machine with very fine gears. The idea is that if there's a level of control at the top, conscious, consciousness, mm -hmm. then why would I mess with anything below here when I want to really start with the top? Basically, the intelligence of the system is designed for our intelligence to run our biology. So if our biology is not working right, there's a tendency to blame the biology as default. And I'm saying, no, that's very <laughs> rare cases, very small number of cases. The large number of cases of disease, for example, is not any defect in the biology. It's a defect in the programming of the biology. The programming is the consciousness part. Yeah. And there's an old saying, knowledge is power. But what you have to understand is a lack of knowledge is a lack of power. We have all been disempowered by a lack of knowledge of who we are and how we operate. So the result is, if I want to get my power back, then I really want to know who I am and how I work. And, and what I, if you go to conventional books, what you'll find out very simply is, the, the truth of how we work is not in those books. <laughs> so what it says is we need to have a better understanding of who we are. That takes us from the more mechanical understanding of the biology to the more energetic understanding of the biology. It says a fuller understanding of the energy will reveal who we are spiritually and it will also reveal how we uh, use the energy from the environment to drive our biology and sort of stop messing with the physical chemical body and start going into the nature of the nervous system and consciousness and spirituality because <laughs> those are the higher levels that then feed down into the physical plane. You want to adjust the physical plane, don't adjust it from the physical level. Start by adjusting it from the consciousness level. The body will follow after that. What is energy going to do? It's going to, it's going to tap us into a place where we don't have to, to, to kill the planet to create so-called food and all that stuff that we're using to think that we're powering ourselves when we could tap into the energy without the food. Then all of a sudden we've understood the nature that we're here to be in harmony with the garden not to undermine it and the way we've been destroying the environment because of the way we believe and behave we're going to kill ourselves so this work becomes very critical in the sense of how important is it to understand the nature of energy and access to the energy? And the answer is so important that human survival and extinction is based on being able to get out of the physical and start getting into the energetic plane. That we were so powerful until we were programmed not to be powerful. <laughs> and, and, and that's it. Uh, you, you just, you take away knowledge and you take away power. And, and this is a time that we need that all that power back because we are on the edge of the sixth mass extinction of life due to the way we behave. Mm. And it says then our behavior has to be totally adjusted for us to survive and that's moving from the physical plane into the energy plane. Thank you very much.